My name is Dr. Adam Davis. I'm a chiropractor who specializes in natural therapies and holistic medicine to get you healthier, happier, and lead a life without pain. I specialize in functional neurology, functional medicine, nutrition, weight loss, acupuncture, and applied kinesiology. And I have dedicated my life to learning from the greatest healers to help you achieve your highest potential in life. This is healing. Herniated um, a disc in my back in 2010, and um, I had to have surgery to remove a fragment that was pushing on the nerve root to my leg. I was having issues walking, and after the surgery, well, I guess before that, I also had really bad migraines since I was eight years old. After having surgery, my migraines went away, and I was good for five years. After five years, I woke up one morning and I couldn't get out of bed. I went through um, physical therapy and chiropractic and um, pain management and I still could not walk. So after seven months of all of that, I started doing acupuncture. And after four sessions of acupuncture, I was able to walk. It made me a true believer of acupuncture. Um, my mom had cancer and helping her roll over in bed, shower, just the normal activities, I injured my back. I seen two surgeons that told me I did not need surgery. One with Cleveland Clinic and one with the university. Both told me, because I thought there has to be something surgically wrong. Nope. Everybody was lost, you know, like they didn't know why I could not walk. I have a three-year-old. I mean, not being able to get out of bed isn't an option. Yeah, I couldn't sit up. I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything. And the adjustment would help for the time that it took me to get from the building to the car. As soon as I sat down, I couldn't get back out of the car. When Regan presented to us, she had severe low back pain and pain radiating down her legs that she's had for a few years. She first experienced this pain several years ago when she woke up and was unable to get out of bed. She had went to several physicians, physical therapy, pain management, and chiropractic without having any relief. She really was left with no answers of what to do. So eventually she tried acupuncture, which gave her the most relief. One of the things that her physician said is that they're not sure why that she was having pain. Well, her MRI showed from 2010 that she had a diffusely bulging disc with a large left-sided paracentral disc extrusion, which is gonna be very painful. What happened is where the disc exits the spinal column, it irritated the nerve, the L5 nerve, in the sacral nerve called the sciatic nerve, it was causing severe pain down her leg. All right, here is a lumbar MRI of Reagan and as you can see to the right of the center, there is a bright strip that runs from top to bottom, and that is the spinal cord. Just in front of that, we have her spine, and each one of her bony vertebral bodies are the blocks, and in between are the cartilage discs. Now, one of the things we want to look at is where that spinal cord and spine come together. There should be a nice congruent line from top to bottom. What we see as we're going down towards the bottom there, the fourth lumbar disc is kind of bulging a little bit. And if we look under that, there is a significant bulge at the L5 disc space as it pushes out into the spinal cord. This is what's causing the majority of her symptoms. After Reagan had her surgery, a MRI was done in the summer of 2015 which showed some resolution of her condition. The left-sided central disc protrusion is no longer evident, and there is likely minimal residual epidural scar formation along the ventral aspect of the fecal sac left to the midline. Now this happens after surgery sometimes with patients, scar tissue gets laid down where the surgery was performed. This can cause permanent and consistent problems, which she still experiences today. She had another MRI later on in 2015. And in that area that she had surgery, 
a small disc extrusion reoccurred. This causing recurrence of her symptoms and causing continual pain down her leg. This really left her with no options and this is when she decided to try acupuncture. I couldn't believe that after two sessions I was able to go to the grocery store and then after four sessions I was actually back to work. I could probably go longer but I always worry about getting that pain back and or waking up and not being able to move. I'm a pusher for acupuncture. <laughs> I said, anytime any of my friends say anything, I'm like, I'm telling you, just go get acupuncture. I also um, wasn't having a hard time getting pregnant, but it wasn't happening. Like we weren't preventing it. So I also did acupuncture to get pregnant. And within two months, I was pregnant. Acupuncture works. And it's not just for aches and pains. So. And I actually have a friend at work, she went for acupuncture and um, she actually had issues with getting pregnant. Like she's been trying for a couple of years and she, I told her about acupuncture. So she went to somebody and she finally did get pregnant. Here's a representation, a model of the lumbar spine. These are the bony vertebrae and in between is a cartilage cushion known as a disc. Back here is your spinal cord, and these are the nerve roots that exit out and run down into the leg. So what happens during a disc extrusion is that cartilage disc gets pressed out and the disc material on the inside of the disc gets herniated through that cartilage and presses on that nerve root and that is the pain that you experience down the leg. Now, a couple options for this is physical therapy, which didn't work for her, uh, chiropractic, which didn't work for her, and pain management, which didn't work for her. So what they had to do was go through and surgically remove this piece so it took the pressure off her leg. However, that was successful initially, but then the protrusion reoccurred and caused her pain. Now with acupuncture and chiropractic, we're able to keep the pressure off that nerve root so the pain that she experiences in her back and leg are minimal, if at all. What we worked on with Reagan today was realigning her lumbosacral area. I use a technique where I put the patient into a position to help take some pressure off her lumbar disc and then once we take some pressure off of it, I'm able to put her on her side and make a light adjustment in her low back, which gives her relief. She was also having some issues in her head and neck, which I addressed today with some chiropractic therapy. One of the important things that you need to do when treating a patient who has chronic low back pain is make sure the stabilizing muscles of her abdominals and obliques are working well. She had a trigger point in her right oblique, which we used the percussor on to help alleviate her symptoms. One of the techniques that I use while I'm doing acupuncture is a technique called surround the dragon, where we input the needles into the area of complaint to help stimulate the nerves in that area to help reduce pain. We also do stimulation of the neck, ears, and on top of the head to stimulate aspects of the brain that help control and reduce pain. An analogy I like to use is mortar and uh, kind of bricks. Okay, so if the vertebrae are the bricks and the cartilage in between is the mortar, often that wears down and degenerates over time and can, you know, bulge out like we discussed. One of the products that we use to fix this is a collagen powder. The collagen is kind of like mortar to this brick wall and we go through and kind of patch that disc up and get any sort of degeneration or cracks or bulges to heal up and stabilize, ultimately helping their condition and reducing their pain. How many times did uh, Dr. Davis over here tell you he couldn't do anything for you? He has not told me that. <laughs> I see. I it was bad. Like, like, everybody was lost, you know, like they didn't know why I could not walk, which 
I mean, because you, you can't see inflammation. So they couldn't see it. I had multiple x-rays, multiple MRIs. Nothing was showing up on it. There was nothing physically wrong. I just couldn't walk.